The name of this week's Parsha is something that I find on my feet. Matos. Actually, the Parsha is Matos Mase, where we learn that Hashem, God, spoke to Moses, as they do in all the Parshas, and he says to him, Go to war against Midian for the bad stuff that they did to you. Look in the last part just to find out what that was. And he says that afterwards, after you take the Jews and you go to war against Midian, you will die. Okay? So just do that. And Moshe's like, okay, listen, I'm going to do it right away. I'm not going to I'm not going to stall. God told me to do something. I know I'm going to die right afterwards, but I got to do what I got to do. The Jewish people, on the other hand, when they heard that they had to go to war and then afterwards Moses will die, they were like, okay, well, first let's see who's... Who's gonna do it? Do you want it? Was I supposed to do it? Were you supposed? Ah, we, I, you know, can we do it tomorrow? They were stalling because they loved Moshe so much and they did not want him to die right away. In fact, Yehoshua, the one that was going to take over for Moshe, his Talmud, his student, also was stalling as well. And the Tzeena Ure'ena says, which is like a holy safer, says that Yehoshua was punished for this and Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses lived 120 years in total and Yehoshua lived 110 years. Why? Because he was a little bit lazy with getting things done. And he was very, very lazy for a very, very good reason. He didn't want his master, his, his teacher to die. And he wanted to prolong his life. It was for a very, very good reason that he was stalling, you see. And because of that, he lost 10 years of his life, according to the Santa Rana. There's other books that say other reasons why he died 10 years earlier than his teacher Moses. But just think about it for a second. How perfect are we when we're like, okay, I, need, I know I got to do this, but I'll do it later. We get a little lazy. We do, you know, we, and, but we always have a good reason. There's a, there's a very, very good reason. For, you know what? Is it as good as keeping some the holiest man in the history of the world alive? If it's not that great of a reason, then it's probably not much of a great reason and you're just stalling and we are just wasting time in the after party yapping about things that are so important. And Yehoshua, who did have a great reason, keeping his holy teacher alive, still was punished for that. So you can just imagine, let's not stall, let's do it right away. Let's not procrastinate, let's not wait, let's get it done today. Act now! Operators are standing by! Hurry! There's no time like the present! Grab a friend! Say, hey you, come here! Oh! Hey. Hey. What's that? Uh -huh. How are you doing? Alright. Okay, have a good job, Is. Uh -huh.